pressure has been increasing on Iran since November. That's when a report by the International Atomic Energy Agency revealed that Iran's nuclear program could possibly have a military dimension. Since then, sanctions have been mounting. Just last month, US President Barack Obama signed into law a new bill containing sanctions against firms that do business with Iran's central bank. And then on January the 13th, the US imposed sanctions on three oil firms trading with Iran, one from China, two from Singapore. Finally, just a few days ago, on January the 23rd, the EU agreed on an embargo on Iranian oil. Well, joining me now live from Beirut is Associate Professor of American Studies at Tehran University, Mohamed Marandi. So thank you so much for joining us. First of all, thank how much me. access can the IAEA rely on? Are they really going to be ha have doors open to them so they can really get a picture of whether or not there is nuclear arms intention in Iran? Well, something that really gets lost amid all the Western propaganda and the Western media propaganda on Iran is that um, uh, the uh, IAEA has full-time inspectors in Iran based in the country and that all of Iran's uh, installations are, uh, they have cameras inside them recording events in, in the country. There is absolutely no evidence whatsoever that Iran's nuclear program is anything but peaceful and the Iranians are doing their best to show this so to you say um, that, but the, the IAEA's uh, own head of um, the IAEA, the watchdog, actually said there was a case to answer. They did believe that there was a case that there were, there were developing nuclear weapons. That was just last November. Well, that's not really the case. Yes, uh, Mr. Amano, he is uh, uh, very much in the pocket of the Americans, as it were. If you look at the WikiLeaks documents, he owes his job to them. His uh, statement, the statement that he came and brought out is very different from previous statements under Mr. al Baradei. And in fact, uh, there's a very good website, raceforiran.com, which uh, de so pursues the issues of the Iranian nuclear program for those that are interested. The reality is that uh, the Iranian nuclear program is peaceful. Iran is working within the non-proliferation treaty and that all the, uh, all the accusations made against Iran are based upon Western uh, uh, intelligence organizations and are uh, completely discredited in the eyes of the Iranians. Obviously, the fallout from this is the oil sanctions. The EU have said it will look at stopping buying oil from Iran by July. But your, the Iranian parliament is debating, I understand right now, that it may be stopping oil exports within a few days to Europe. Uh, that sort of escalation is not really going to help things, is it? Well, I don't think Iran is at all to blame. It is basically Western countries that are behaving with arrogance. They've effectively declared, uh, a, a, you know, ho ho hostile intent towards Iran. It's a, basically a, a declaration of war, in a sense, where they place an embargo on the Iranian central bank uh, and on the Iranian oil industry and in trying to force third countries from trading with the country. You have Western military drones, American drones flying over Iranian airspace. You have the assassination of university professors and the murder of scholars and scientists. One of them was my own colleague. And you have Western regimes uh, uh, supporting terrorist organizations inside the country. The hostile and constant threats of attack and military operations against Iran. It's basically Western countries uh, that are uh, raising the tensions and are trying to hurt ordinary Iranians. This, that is the basic intent. So uh, despite Western media propaganda and the propaganda put forth by Western countries, it is Iran that has been very quiet and cool and calm in all this and has tried to prevent tensions from being raised. But if Western regimes try to strangle the Iranian people and to hurt the Iranian economy severely, then the Iranians will have no option but to punish them. Professor Mohamed Morandi, thank you very much for speaking to us from Beirut. Thank you.